recent events in Mali have been a big shock to us. We have always looked upon Mali as somewhere there is peace, stability and democratic space. Today we have with us Aminata Tarore, who is a very well known figure in Malian politics. Aminata, good to have you with us in News Click. Do you think this recent developments will make an enormous difference to Mali? Uh, definitely, because uh, we as Malian, we have been uh, surprised first by uh, the dimension of uh, the violence, because suddenly we were facing, in, in addition to the Tuareg rebellion, you know, the fact that uh, the Islamists uh, of Al-Qaeda, uh, who were far from the cities, like Kidal, Gao, and Timbuktu, you know, gained uh, in the field uh, this, uh, their, their project, you know, to dominate uh, the two-thirds uh, of uh, the, our territory. So it's a psychologically and politically big shock. But I think that uh, the weakness of our country came also from uh, the Libyan war. Uh, I mean the war imposed on Libya by uh, the NATO uh, uh, countries. So uh, as a result, as you know, uh, uh, these groups uh, has can you know have a lot of arms you know now compared to the national army they have they became a force and uh, uh, the last news regarding you know the uh, the destruction of uh, uh, mausolee you know uh, because uh, the fundamentalist Islam, uh, you know, doesn't uh, accept the way we as uh, African, we practice uh, Islam. One of the arguments has been that the collapse in Libya has made a lot of arms available and that is destabilizing the nearby states. So what do you think of the impact of the collapse in Libya has been for Mali? A lot of people uh, were fearing this, uh, fearing this uh, consequence. Uh, now it's here, but uh, the injustice uh, uh, system that we are living wants Malian people to solve themselves. This problem, which, which not uh, you know, uh, is uh, one of the consequences of uh, the dominant uh, country to go to and to try to impose their democracy, uh, you know, to Libya. So a lot of countries are suffering the consequence. One of them uh, is the migrant situation. A lot of uh, West uh, uh, African Sahelian and even non-Sahelian African uh, was uh, working in Libya. And uh, the money they sent in Mali was, uh, you know, uh, one of the main component of uh, our uh, financial resources. So we, after uh, the collapse of Libya, we, we are uh, facing uh, first uh, the aggravation of the poverty because there are thousands of workers uh, coming, coming back from Libya. And uh, uh, on the other side, uh, the group uh, of uh, rebel and, uh, you know, the others uh, coming also to, to Mali. Do you think what has happened in Mali is the unintended consequence of the collapse in Libya? Or do you think that imperialism or US imperialism has a positive intent of breaking up states in the region? Uh, um, I think that uh, people are gaining in terms of uh, social and political awareness. You know, so far we were a few to say that uh, actually uh, the majority of uh, economic and political problems we are facing uh, are due to uh, the inequal aspect of uh, uh, the relationship between uh, 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 so-called rich country and us. 
uh, you know, uh, uh, tragedy is uh, taking place in one of the part of our country, uh, of uh, one of the characteristic of the place is anger. Uh, before the rebellion and all this, uh, you know, uh, last aspect of the problem, uh, we, we were, uh, you know, uh, most of the people were just questioning how are we doing, uh, are we going to do to face hunger. But then in addition to anger, we are now, we, uh, you know, this uh, situation where uh, the uh, uh, national administration had, you know, to, to abandon the place uh, which uh, is now in the hands of uh, rebels on one side and Islamists on the other. The Tuareg demand for independent northern state in Mali has been there for quite some time. The link up with the Islamists is quite recent. What do you think is the reason for this? Islamist is, is, uh, presence is a recent phenomenon. Uh, but they were in, uh, you know, the remote place of the desert, not in the towns. But uh, I think that uh, uh, France uh, uh, and uh, Nicolas Sarkozy uh, was expecting, you know, to have uh, a, a Tuareg as partners, you know, to, com to, to, to struggle against Acme. Uh, finally, at the end of this process, uh, you know, the, uh, we say that they played with the fire and uh, they are now, uh, we, because uh, I don't know uh, if uh, France cares a lot about what is happening, they think it's a Malian business, it's, uh, it's uh, to us uh, to solve the problem, but they create a problem for us, you know. Do you think there is an element of France wanting to keep control? over its former colonies and resources? Is that the root of the problem? Yes, this is, uh, that was uh, the, their expectation. Uh, because, uh, as you know, uh, the main issue is uh, uh, for uh, colonial, uh, uh, you know, uh, system, uh, is how to have access of energetic resources of this region, main uh, uranium and petrol. The whole issue like uh, uh, in Libya and Afghanistan, Iraq is the same. But so far, we in uh, Western Africa, we were just, uh, you know, uh, watching what is happening elsewhere. Now, uh, the, the, the same process is uh, at our doors. And um, there is also the willingness of, uh, uh, from the U.S. and uh, European country, uh, if you want to, how to stop uh, the so-called emergent, uh, emergent country, you know, because uh, to, to gain in competitivity, to gain this war, economic war of uh, croissance, growth, uh, France knows that uh, uh, he, they, they need uh, their uh, uh, former colonies' uh, resources. We now also have the emergence of this new form of Islam, which, as you have said, is not the way West Africa has been practicing Islam. Do you see this as a long-term threat to the societies in this region? If I look uh, at uh, what is happening in uh, Maghreb uh, countries uh, like uh, Tunisia, Egypt, uh, even Libya, when they create the problem, I'm afraid uh, because the majority of uh, the power, the, the poor, poor people, uh, are trying, you know, to find uh, answers to their problem uh, in uh, religion, as you know. And uh, in the absence of uh, uh, a state, because uh, states have been destroyed by stru structural adjustment policy, I think the roots of the problem is also in the neoliberal reforms uh, that has been imposed on uh, uh, our countries. Uh, for three decades, uh, the Malian state had to abandon the people uh, telling them, you know, do by yourself uh, what we as a state we are supposed to do for you. So, uh, while the state is uh, withdrawing itself, you know, trying to please, you know, the donors, but uh, by taking care of their interests, 
of rich country and uh, leaving the people, you know, to, you know, to do what they can do to survive. The religious took the place. They took the place by going while when while politicians and even you know the association are you know in speeches. The religious was in the field, in the field by you know trying to solve the problems of water, food, and. They are gaining in terms of uh, confidence, uh, uh, confiance. How do you say confiance? Uh, I know before the events uh, we are witnessing now, a lot of uh, poor people uh, are, uh, you know, uh, looking, are going to the mosque. Uh, there is a tendency now uh, of. Uh, religions to gain. Do you see the Boko Haram group in Nigeria also influencing what is happening in Mali? But the, the, there is a lot of solidarity between Boko Haram uh, and uh, all the Ansardine, uh, Mujoba. They are the same. They are the same. They are playing the same game. They are together. We don't see so far, you know, opposition between them. They are just uh, three names of the same you know, uh, in the same project. If you see the kind of groups which have taken power in northern Mali, these are also some of the groups which the imperial powers like France and United States have been backing in Libya. Do you think that the realignment that is taking place, including the fundamentalists, is something which the imperialism is instigating in this part of the region? To me, uh, Islamist groups are uh, 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 supported by uh, Arabic country like uh, Qatar and uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi Arabia. Arabia and the Salafis are coming from there. So uh, I don't know how, you know, uh, politically they could, you know, uh, progress without, you know, the financial support of the uh, uh, U.S., uh, France, I'm not that sure, but I think that we have still to look at the link between U.S. interests and uh, the Islamists. They are fighting Islamists. Uh, they are in some area, Hezbollah, you know, Hamas, but uh, in some other areas, if they, if they, they own, I think the life, people, lives don't count. The only thing they care about is their interests. Last question. How do you see the Malian people resist what has happened? What is happening in northern Mali is something which could be very dangerous for Mali in this region. So how do you see it develop? The problem is that uh, uh, we, uh, you know, we, we didn't prepare the people uh, politically uh, and uh, psychologically, you know, to question what is happening. I think that uh, it's just they are, they were there uh, in a context where uh, Western government, you know, says, oh, everything is funny, you are, is fine in your country, you are uh, a good democracy, uh, you have a good economic performance, even if the ordinary people couldn't, you know, see what uh, was done in this uh, area, but this is the image they built about Mali. So uh, uh, people themselves, they knew that they were in a facing problem. They know their problems, but uh, uh, nobody helped them to understand that somewhere in Libya something is happening and sometimes we as Malian, we could be concerned. So we are now at the stage of surprise. And they are, uh, uh, they are you know, empty hands uh, facing people with guns. Now they don't know what to do. But I'm quite sure that uh, the internal front, somebody internal, uh, can, will happen. Because by the past, a sunrise, because the Tuareg 
I, I, I used to hear that uh, uh, the uh, Azawad is uh, the Tuareg natural region. Actually, it's uh, uh, <laughs> the place uh, belong to different, a lot of other, you know, uh, ethnic group. This ethnic group cannot understand how one of them, the minority, can come and to control everything. Uh, you know, uh, in the name of uh, democracy or, uh, you know, autonomy. Because we all are, we, I think that uh, the, uh, the Tuareg, you know, uh, uh, miss the, the, the challenge to, to, to all together to, to fight for what I call the second liberation of Africa. We have to fight for that. Tuareg or non-Tuareg, because all of us, we are, you know, paying for uh, the macroeconomic choice and decision. And we, did, we have nothing to do with these wars and uh, uh, Islamic movement. But if we don't create internally a space to have a debate, a real debate, on what is going on in and out of you know, our borders, uh, I, my, my problem with uh, uh, the political uh, leaders is that they don't want to help the people to understand in terms of media. This is why I'm really happy, you know, to intervene in your channel. Because we don't have this, uh, we should have a lot of, you know, alternative media to tell the people where we are now. That all of us, all over the world, as people, we are in danger now that uh, uh, we are supposed to be part of a global market you know but we know that uh, the winners of this market are just a few of us and that the majority is just starving but if Tuareg and uh, Fulani and Sonrai and Bambara we all know that actually uh, we have to fight for another uh, economy another society. This is the challenge. But now, uh, we, we don't, we, you don't know nothing, you don't hear nothing about this type of alternative. You are just saying that, uh, okay, go and vote. Uh, through election, you will change your life. But we know in Mali, has one of the best democracy in West Africa, that election is not enough. Uh, election without, uh, you know, a political and social awareness is just, uh, you know, risky. Thanks, Aminata. This, I think, will be very interesting for the people who see this clip.